Hello, everybody. I hope you all have your textbooks ready. I hope you have opened the lesson, The Blind Men and the Elephant. We're going to be reading that today. I'm going to be reading, and I want you to put your finger on the textbook and follow along as I read. Okay? The blind man and the elephant. Now you can see there's a little uh, drawing of an elephant here and it says, close your eyes and draw a tail for this elephant. That could be fun. Can you draw a tail for the elephant with your eyes closed without looking at the page? Why don't you try that and see how close you get? Okay, shall we start? Are your fingers on your books? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there were six blind men. You all know what blind means, right? Blind means you can't see. Once upon a time, there were six blind men. They wanted to learn new things. They would touch and feel things to understand what they were like. Then they would decide on what the new thing was like. So, of course, they couldn't see. So, you can't see this box. So what would they do? They would touch it, they would feel it, and then they would say, ah, achha, this is a box. One day, a circus came to town. Do you know what a circus is? A circus is this wonderful place where you have uh, all sorts of people doing these amazing things like swinging on high ropes and jumping from one rope to the other high up in the air. And another thing that's there in circuses is lots of animals, right? And the animals do lots of tricks. Like um, you might have uh, an elephant that can play cricket with the bat, things like that, right? One day a circus came to town. People spoke about an elephant at the circus. The blind men heard this. They wanted to go to the circus touch and feel the elephant and understand what it was like. So they had never seen any ele an elephant before. So they wanted to say, Acha, everyone's talking about this thing called an elephant. We'll go, we'll touch it and we'll see what the elephant is like. We can find out what this new amazing creature called an elephant is like. The next morning, the blind men went to the circus. They asked the circus owner to take them to the elephant, the man or the woman who owned the circus, who was in charge of it. The owner took them to the elephant one by one. Now, they didn't all go together. The circus owner probably said that, okay, the elephant, uh, you need to be very careful. You can't all go at the same time. You should go one by one and touch it and feel it, and then you can come out. So they all went in one by one. Next page. The first blind man bumped against the elephant. You know, to bump against something is to hit it. He bumped against the elephant and fell down. He felt the elephant's side. And you can see here in the picture also that the first blind man is touching the side of the elephant. Hmm. It was rough and huge, really, really big, and it was rough, not smooth. It was very rough to touch. He came out and he told his friends, oh, the elephant is like a wall. Yes, yeah, we all know walls are rough and they are very big, right? If you ever touch the wall, you can see a wall here in my room over there. Can you see that? Do you think that it's going to be smooth or rough? Hmm. So he came out and he said, okay, this elephant, I touched it and I know now that it is very big and it is very rough. It's just like a wall. So the second blind man went in and said, oh, let me see uh, what it's like. So the second blind man went in and he felt the elephant's tusk. You see the elephant's tusk in the picture over here? Right there, he felt the elephant's tusk. Now the elephant's tusk it wasn't like the first man had said. It wasn't big. It wasn't rough. It was smooth. It 
was very smooth to touch and it was sharp so he came out and he said the elephant it's like a spear how can a wall be smooth and sharp it's not smooth and sharp it's not uh, rough and huge it's smooth and sharp it must be like a spear now do you know what a spear is this thing i have in my hand here this is a spear can you see the point of the spear yeah can you can you guess what this might be used to do why would you use something like this see it's nice and big and it has a sharp point so he said oh the elephant's tusk is like a spear this elephant is like a spear hmm. it's not like a wall so he came outside then the third man went in the third blind man touched the elephant's trunk the elephant's trunk the long nose of the elephant see so do you notice something they're not all feeling the same part the first one went in and felt the side of the elephant the second one went in and felt the tusks the third one and went in and felt the trunk they're not touching the same part of the elephant the third blind man touched the elephant's trunk it was long and thick mm, it wasn't like a wall it wasn't like a spear it was long and it was thick and as he was touching it he cried out the elephant is like a snake it could be poisonous and he came running out mm -hmm. i thought it was a snake and he said why did he get scared because he said it could be poisonous do you know what poisonous is poisonous is zehrila poison is zehr mm -hmm. so he got scared he thought this is not a uh, this is not a spear it's not a wall this elephant it's like a snake and he went running outside we'll stop there for today we'll read the rest of the story tomorrow here is your job you are going to read this story till this part only till it could be poisonous from the beginning and you are going to practice reading it properly and you are going to send me a voice recording of you reading it okay don't read it in a hurry don't go once upon a time there was six no i want you to spend some time listen to how i am saying each word and then send me a voice recording of you reading it well can you do that i'll see you tomorrow then Have fun. Do a good job for me.